Welcome to uh, Blue Disc Garage. This video will be inspecting the Focus ST that we got in the previous videos. Um, you know, the new project car that we got. To look at the things that are broken and or wrong. And we're going to inspect the car and see what we can find. I will own up to a part that I broke when we get to it. <laughs> so let's see how we get on. And don't forget, if you like the videos, give us a like. It's as simple as that. A like for a like. So let's start with a forward inspection of this car. So we'll start at the front. We have black appeal, just above the number plate, and the number plate's got cracked in it. Um, it has just passed its MOT, so obviously, because it's not affecting the lettering. Um, I will be checking these headlamp washers, because I'm pretty sure they don't work. While that one comes out, I'm pretty confident that they don't squirt. So we'll be checking them, the operation of them. Moving to the brakes. There's a pretty big lip on the disc that I'll want changing at some point. Um, I can't see the pads, but obviously if we're changing the discs, um, we'll have to change the pads as well as. Um, well, they've been dirty and caked in. That's discoloured. The actual lens is not clear anymore. Might have a look, see what we can do with that. It's a bit hard to tell what the body works like underneath all that dirt. There are some like fingerprint dints just here. My fingerprint didn't, I mean literally the size of a fingerprint. Bike brakes. Uh, yeah, again, there's another lip on those discs. Um, not as bad as the front, but probably have to get changed at some point. There's a bit of corrosion on this alloy as well. As you can see, there's some corrosion there. Tires are in good shape, and yeah, the front one one as well. Um, it's pretty good as well. So, around the back. Yeah, it don't look too bad other than dirty. It's got parking sensors on it, handy work. It's obviously been reversing. So we've already fixed the boot struts. That's why the boots are up in the air. Obviously we did have bad boot struts. Now, there's a piece of Velcro here, which there's only one reason in my mind why you would use Velcro, and that would be to hold a sub. So it makes me believe at some point the car's had a sub in it. Let's see if we can find some other evidence of that later down the line. There is no boot floor. <laughs> There is no spare wheel with these cars. Just don't come with them. Don't come with anything, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing hidden out of the way. As you can see, got these hooks around everywhere to hook like carrier bags on. Just a nice, handy trick, I suppose. Um, moving on to this side. <laughs> this is what I broke at the petrol station the other day. Um, I was trying to tweak it to make it sit a bit better and I ended up pulling the cover off so I need to fix that back on today because obviously that looks untightly. Back down to obviously the wheels again, a bit of corrosion and again a lip on the disc as, as, as there would be, I'd have to change all of them anyway, all the discs, all the pads. Body work wise, um, it's not too shabby this side, I think there's a couple of fingerprint marks somewhere, there's one on this wing somewhere, a little crease. It's not bad, paint's in good, good working order. Um, we've got this discoloured lens again, which I don't really like. It makes it look old. It's 10 years old. So, I'll grab the keys and we'll have a look at the bonnet. Or underneath the bonnet, shall I say. So I've gone through the service history. Um, and I can see that it's had a new lock put on it. Um, I assume the last one broke. Apparently it's a common issue because you've got this crazy method thing here. But they had to break into the new bonnet. I can only assume that's why there's damage around this grill. As you can see, it's all chunked up. There's covers, and not covers missing, but there's clips missing to hold the covers on. Obviously, there's cracks. Cracks could be due down to age, but it could be down to breaking into it, I don't know. Um, so, also had a new alternator. So, just down there, you can see a shiny bit of black in the middle of the camera. Um, can you see any more? You can see a little middle of the screen again now there's a little bit more shiny silver that's obviously um, the new alternator other than that it just looks dirty and dark and shabby down here um, so look at the battery more broken things as well it's not attached to the covers it should be on how's this back the battery there 
getting obvious of a sub at the moment. I haven't found a power lead anyway. If you have had one, not yet, so. And lastly, down at the back of the engine, I can just see the exhaust. The exhaust seems massive. I need to get underneath to have a look because that looks a huge downpipe from the turbo. I don't know if it's standard or not. I don't know what the standard size is. But other than looking dirty, I don't think it looks bad under there. So let's have a look at the inside of the car. The damage, etc. etc. So, full leather with 100,000 miles. Obviously, it is inevitably going to be a wear on the bolster. I don't know if I can dye that back to black or not. I'll have to have a look. And this heated seat, or this part of the heated seat inside there, does not work at the moment. I don't know whether it's the switches, whether it, you know, whether it's the switches, there's a fuse going on something, I don't know. Passenger seat does work, driver does not. All the climate control works, the CD player company works, although I don't like it. We've got this crack up here, so I want to replace this fascia plate, um, and or the CD player, whether it's one or not, I don't really know. I want to replace all that. Seen one I like, which is a really big screen. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get that. Um, the gauges at the top work. Um, all the gauges in, inside the clocks work. Um, there's not really a lot to, lot to say. <laughs> um, for my partner, she likes to listen to her iPod, so I've got an auxiliary cable plugged in, but the only auxiliary cable I've got in the whole flat um, is uh, 20 meters. <laughs> so that's why there's a big, big coil of it there. That's See, just just like thing hanging down, it's a bit messy. Um, it's a pretty big little box to be honest. But that's why we have a cable running the floor. So let's have a look in the back. So we're now in the back of the car. As you can see, I love the Recaro levers. Didn't realise that these are storage cupboards, um, which is nice. This is one both sides. Unfortunately, the owner's not left anything in it. <laughs> Um, I do think it's a weird design with this grey in the back, but it is what it is. <laughs> and a tweeter there, so I must have eight speakers because there's a tweeter and speaker in the front. Um, these seats pull up. What? Come on, oh, there we go. All my knees in the way. Hold on. Oh, what's that? <sighs> Integral. Integral? If any of you knows what that is, by all means tell me. I have no idea. And more importantly, what is that? Oh, let's move my knees. Huh. Wow, that is a really piss poor attempt at a freaking sub -air. I was right though, this car's had a sub in it. That's what that is. There's nothing else hidden, there's no RCAs or anything down there. I don't know what that is. Oh, I've dropped it down, whatever it was. Wow, that was a surprise. I don't mind some tag what it is. Um, there's nothing under this side. No, I don't know what that is at all. What's that there? It's a big clip or something, whatever that is. Now I'll have to really get into this car. Well, I told you I had a sub. That's a dead spider. I don't like dead spiders. I don't like live spiders. I don't mind dead spiders. Goodbye, spider. Well. I'm currently in an awkward position in the boot, but that is the inspection of the car. So we've had a look at it, we found things that's wrong, we found that it did have a sub. I suspected it had a sub. Um, and I wonder if that's why the um, face plate got cracked for some reason, I don't really know. Maybe it got cracked in storage. Don't know. It's always interesting when you think you've got a standard car, because obviously it is well, you know, it is standard, there's nothing else to look at it that's not standard. And yet, you find it's had a sub? Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. This is the inspection of the car. <laughs> now I'm going to clean it. I'll see you in another video. Um, you may have remembered that I found that little integral thing underneath the back seat of the car. 
Well, I've been playing around with it, and apparently it's a USB stick, or USB something or other. If I turn the camera around and show you, so I want to put it on this on this bench here. Spin the camera around so I can see what I'm recording. That pulls out. Look. Come on. So it's and it says 16 gig on it. Somewhere I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It does say 16 gig. So I've just found a 16 gig. Um, USB stick in the car. Bonus! Thank you previous owner. I'm going to have a look at either the music you've left on there, maybe important work files, or porn. Fingers crossed for porn.